Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the new ability to share using Facebook in iOS 6. So one of the biggest complaints people have had about iPhones and iPads is the inability to share to Facebook from some of the default apps. Sure you could run the official Facebook app and share photos and such, but a lot of people wanted to be able to do that right from the camera app. Well, with iOS 6 you can now do this on the iPhone and iPad and it's pretty simple if you just set it up right. So the first thing you want to do is go to your Settings app and under Settings you want to look for the new settings here on the left for Facebook. And you can see it right here with Twitter and Facebook together kind of in their own category because they're above all of the third party apps like Angry Birds and below all of the standard apps like iBooks and music and videos. So if you select Facebook you'll see that there are certain settings here. One is to set your account and you can see my name there. If I tapped on that it would take me to my account settings, uh, user ID and password. Um, and then it also has uh, which apps can use the contact information there. Um, and if you uh, click on the settings here you can see that there's several different things like uh, whether or not chats and messages will play sound and vibrate, um, things like that. Now once that's all set up you can share things. Like for instance in Safari you have the standard share button there and you tap that and one of the share options is Facebook. I tap on that and it comes up with this little Facebook window here. You can see I can type in my message. It includes the link. You can see a little paper clip there telling you it's going to include a link. I can also uh, tap on friends to tag friends and tap on location add location and there's a post uh, button at the upper right hand corner. Now here I am in the Photos app. In the Photos app I'm taking a look at the last picture I took and you can see that I have the Share button there as well and I'm going to tap on that and then I have the Facebook option there and not only can I type a message and uh, a location, tag friends, but I can also tap on the little tag there which allows me to choose an album to post to which could become handy. It assumes of course that you've already set up some albums on Facebook so head over to the Facebook website and create your photo albums first and then you can choose which one to do uh, for posting. It doesn't look like you can create new albums this way. You can also share uh, in odd and unusual places like for instance in the App Store uh, you can search for an app and once you're looking at it you can do the little share button there and you see you can share on Facebook about an app in the App Store. I think if anything this is kind of a demonstration of what other apps can do. So in the future you might find more third party apps supporting this share and Facebook thing. A lot of them picked up on share uh, in Twitter that was added in iOS 5 and of course they can share as email and messages too. So look for Facebook sharing to come to your favorite app soon. Now another cool thing I noticed is that once you set up Facebook all your Facebook friends come in as contacts in the Contacts app. And you could actually tap on the Facebook link in the Contacts and it will take you right to their Facebook page. So it's a handy way uh, when you're looking at somebody's compact contact to jump right to their Facebook page as well. And it also added their Facebook picture in the Contacts app. So instead of having your Contacts list filled with people that don't have any picture suddenly you'll find that a lot of them do or maybe all of them do. I even found that it works in the new Maps app. You've got a uh, where the, there's a pin you can hit share location and you can share to Facebook and it will create a little link to the map location. So while sharing to Facebook isn't everywhere and in every app yet it certainly seems like it might be headed that way. At least it's there for photos which is what a lot of people want to write off the bat especially for use on the iPhone. Hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.